Hello, peoples. I'm watching this amazingly behaved dog this afternoon. And so if you hear any barking, it's just want to let you It's her bratty sister that's locked up right now. So we're going to watch this new trailer to Shazam! Fury of the Gods in IMAX. I'm curious if this, act, if this, is, if this will actually have the IMAX ratio. So, yeah, just like I say, if you hear any barking as I'm watching this, it's likely the devil dog that's locked up. Okay, starting the trailer in three, two, one. I'm curious if Zachary Levi is going to have more screen time this summer around. The power of the gods. You ripped it from our father's core. Okay, I feel like maybe I should be writing all this down. Give us the powers, child. Your world will not survive this. You want these powers? Come get them! Hey, Khaleesi! Started from the bottom, now we're here. All right. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. We have one job to do. Save the world. Billy! Sky Dome. You're showing too much. I don't know how we fight powers like this. I can't do this. Take my powers back. You gave them to me, so you can take them back. You're showing way too much. I spent millennia searching for a worthy champion. You know exactly what must be done. Billy, what are you doing? I have to do this. We end this. I feel like it's forgotten that Billy Bats is also a kid too. We do. You're showing way too much. A lot of CGI. Let's hope we can pull it off. I guess so far it looks decent, CGI wise. Another trailer that didn't quite wow me. Um, the first trailer I thought it, you know, was good, and this trailer was good as well, but it didn't wow me either. The only thing that, you know, holds me back is just. There's so many tropes this can fall for. The first movie, you know, it set up his character and now it's passable. And if you go back on my review, you can actually see that I didn't really care for the first Shazam movie when I initially saw it. And I did actually quite warm up to it quite a bit since that first initial watch. This movie I'm still not so sure about. To me, it just kind of reminds me a lot of like 2017 Power Rangers. This trailer alone showed way too much and that's probably its biggest problem. I feel like I've already seen about 75% of the movie now. And I feel like they also kind of forget that Billy Batson himself is also a kid, and he's almost the same age as like um, what's his name, Jack Dylan Grazer's character, and he's but like he's getting kidnapped. I'm like, we need to remember that this is also a kid as well. I feel like this trailer didn't do a very good job at showcasing that, and I'm curious. It looks like Zachary Levi is like in this 90% of the time, and then um, what's his name, um, Ansel? I can't. I think his name is Ansel. Um, he doesn't look like he has very much screen time, so I'm like, I I'm curious how they're gonna ratio that out, and I'm just kind of not so sure, because what held the first movie together was the emotional core of, um, Billy Batson, and I really didn't feel it as much whenever, um, Zachary Levi was on screen, because he had, was seeking for that connection with his mom, and that really only showed when he was in kid form, so I'm curious how much of the core theme of family is going to be uh, centered here without being one big joke like Zachary Levi is good at do making jokes but sometimes I'm curious if they're going to find that good balance between the two. A lot of CGI here it's just this is a very this is a scary movie for me. This can be a movie where a lot can this can go very wrong but can also go very right. This can be a fantastic movie or this can be a very okay movie that I'll forget instantly 
and it just it's one of those things I need to see the movie it depends on how the action is it depends on how the heart is it depends on this, how the story is and based off the trailers that I see so far it really is just kind of up in the air right now this could be great this can be okay we'll see I do like the first Shazam I don't love it as much as other people do but I have warmed up to it so I'm I hope that this same case isn't with this one where I initially don't like it and then slowly warm up to it because I want to love this movie like everyone else does and I suspect it'll be good you know you got the same cast and the same crew this time around so there's no reason for it to be um like significantly worse but you know maybe it has a bad case of sequelitis I don't know why I'm so skeptical of this I know people love the Shazam character but yeah anyway comment down below what your thoughts are it's just these trailers ha haven't really done much for me so yeah like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that, and adios.